Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. This is the video that I've been promising you on how to show you how I put on my lily. Now, just for starters, here's my lily. It's an all season. Little Miss has heard me start talking, so now she wants me. Okay, so I'm about a size 24. That's pretty average for plus size. I know when I started baby wearing, I started looking, and the first place I went was to YouTube. And I searched and I searched for videos on how can I wear as a plus size mom? How can I find something that fits me properly? How can I put it on properly by myself while my husband's at work? Um, you know, and I searched and I searched and I searched until I found all the information that I needed. And then I continued to try on new carriers and try new things and just really try what, and figure out what worked for me. And this is what I found worked for me best. Um, no one told me this. I did figure this one out on my own, although I do now see a lot of other moms and dads both using this method. So let me get started and show you how I do it. Okay, so this is the anatomy of our All Seasons Lily, which we absolutely love. Um, I have both side straps already buckled on both sides. They're buckled. However, they are loosened out almost all the way. Then if I flip it around to the back, you'll notice my chest belt is buckled. This is one buckle that never gets unbuckled. I leave it buckled at all times. It's how I get it on and off so easily, so quickly. This just works for me. And I'm finding that it is helping a lot of moms with a short reach or a lot of moms that just maybe have back problems or just have a hard time reaching that clip. Let's be honest. We've all been there and we need help to reach it. And there's days where there's no help around to reach that clip. So this is going to solve that problem. So first, let's start by putting our lily on. Put the waist belt up. I, my daughter is about 16 pounds, and she's seven months old. I still do wear her pretty high. She's pretty tiny. Um, she still only fits the narrow base. She does not fit the wide base yet, although sometimes I wish she did so I could back carry, but that's just not our reality right now. So I put it on around my waist. I put it kind of right in front of me so I can see what I'm doing. I slide the buckle through the safety elastic, and then I clip and buckle shut. Then I slide around, position it right under my bust, make sure my lumbar support is right dead center in the middle of my back, and then I tighten. Now, like I said before, I'm a size 24, and this does fit me without an extender. However, I do generally use the extender just so that I can nurse. While I'm in this, because I probably have about two inches extra after I tighten, which isn't enough for me to drop it low enough to nurse, because my hips are a lot bigger than my waist. Okay, so now here we go. My waist is on, it's tight, it's centered. Now, what I'm going to do is, just like you were getting on a roller coaster, this is going to go on like a harness right over my head, already assembled. I just lift it. Slide over my head and put my arms right through the shoulder straps. Now, once your baby's in here, it's going to be all nice up high and tight. But for now, what I do is I pull this forward. So the chest clip is all the way at the back of my neck. And now I have a nice deep pocket and lots of access at top. So let me get my baby and I'll show you how to put it on. Okay. This is Alexa. She's seven months old, and she is a worn baby. She loves to be worn. She loves when she sees mommy pick her up. Okay, so what I do is I put baby right up against my chest at all times, no matter what carrier you're putting on. Make sure you're always having at least one firm hand on the baby. So I'll leave my one hand on the baby. I'll slide my hand under one of the shoulder straps, and I'll take a little foot, and I'll bring it inside. And then I'll switch hands on her bottom, switch which shoulder she's on, slide my hand back under the other shoulder strap, grab her little foot, and bring it in. Okay. 
Make sure her foot is sticking out on either side of the carrier. Make sure it is under this black strap, between the waistband and this black strap. Make sure you're not putting her foot in between the shoulder strap and the top shoulder strap. So again, on the other side, make sure her little foot is down below this black strap. Then what I do is I tuck her arms in. I take the top of the strap where the headrest meets the shoulder strap, and I pull up. And I pull up. Okay. And now when I make sure that the headrest support is just below the base of her neck, then I know she's in. And she's always going to pull her arms out because she likes the right arms out. Now I take the adjuster right here, right behind the clip. And I pull about six or eight inches out. And then I go to the other side. And I pull about six or eight inches out. Okay, and now I know she's in there secure enough that she's not going anywhere. This is when I make sure she's adjusted. I put my hands inside the carrier. I take her a little twist, and I rotate her hips forward. I make sure her legs are in the proper M position, and that she's centered within the carrier, and then she's not off to one side. Okay, at this point, I take both straps, and I just make sure she's tightened enough. And make sure that I feel comfortable. So that's it. I know I made a long video. I wanted to make sure that I was really thorough with explaining how this was done. But now that I've gone over step by step and showed you exactly how to do this, I'm going to take her back out of the carrier. I'm going to loosen back up. And I'm going to put her in and tighten just like I would if I wasn't making this video. So you can see how quick and what it looks like without me making this video, basically. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to take her out, and then I'm going to put her back in. Oh, well, I guess I can show you since I'm taking her out. When I go to remove her from the carrier, that would be helpful as well. So I take both of these clips right on the side. There's one here, and there's one here. I put my thumb behind it, and I just pull forward. When you bend those forward, it immediately loosens the straps. And then once it's pretty loose, you can just grab the buckles and pull forward. And they just loosen right up. Okay? And then I make sure the baby's not holding the carrier. And you can just go like this, pull forward and loosen. I put my hands right inside, hold my baby, reach right under her arm, and just lift up. And it's that simple. So here we are. Carrier's on. Clip is clipped. We're loosened. I'm going to put her in, tighten her up, show you how quick and easy this really is. And there we go. We're in. We're ready to do whatever we need to do, whether it's housework, whether we're going outside for a walk. She's in. She's happy. She's close enough to kiss as always and happy. And I'm happy because, let's face it, as a mom, there's so many jobs you need to get done. And you just need your hand. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Happy baby wearing. I hope this was helpful to you. And hopefully there will be more videos to come. Bye-bye.